Welcome to Electronic and Computer Engineering Department. Our research community is thriving in terms of our achievements and impact we deliver through our PhD studies. Today, you will see on this snippet of some of research we are doing in our department in collaboration with our industrial partners as well as putting a cutting edge of technologies in theoretical and background studies. My basic area, research area is about emotion recognition from the EEG signals. And about this topic, we have several stages about how to do this work. The purpose to do this, to do this work is to find the relationship between the emotion and the, the human brain signals. My research project is on a pattern reconfigurable antenna. So basically, I'm building an antenna on using pa circular patch antenna. I'm, I'm doing reconfigurable on the pattern, radiation pattern on the antenna. And basically what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm using the circular patch antenna. I'm doing the reconfiguration on the circular patch antenna. And uh, the, the reconfiguration is done based on the Yagi Uda antenna. Basically the novelty that I have, uh, that I have done is by miniaturizing the metal cylinder used for reconfiguration. Bruna has provided me many facilities to help me with the research. Now currently I'm looking forward for a collaboration with other universities to carry out my uh, experiment for the antenna. I'm here to introduce uh, Futra Samsia from Malaysia and he's working on uh, optimizing harmonic filters and we are working on something called event-based modeling so it's a discretized uh, method of analyzing the state of the system and trying to optimize it using open control techniques. Uh, this project is to develop a hardware in the loop environment to test and measure various parameters that cause an effectiveness of harmonic filters in power system using the novelty of event modeler techniques. In this case study, we have selected a machine. Uh, it's a continuous chip unloader machine. Uh, I'm a PhD student doing research in the area of machine-to-machine -machine communication and Internet of Things. Basically, my research focuses on developing a new generation of uh, self-powered wireless sensor nodes uh, because the energy efficiency uh, is one of the inherited problems that need to be addressed. The machine-to-machine -machine sensor nodes represent the essential part of the IoT through IP-enabled uh, uh, sensor networks based on IP version 6 over low-power wireless uh, personal area network or 6-low-pan. The developed sensor node equipped with the solar energy harvesting mechanism uh, to eliminate periodic battery replacement that exists in a traditional sensor node. Uh, the solar energy harvesting system uh, converts the abundant solar energy into electrical energy uh, that can be uh, used to recharge the node battery. I choose Brunel University London because my supervisor, Prof. Rueshidi, uh, is leading a group of experts, which is uh, a unique opportunity to have uh, this corporation. In addition, Brunel University London offers a very friendly and supportive research environment. My project is about uh, emotion recognition from music. And uh, in, this, in this part, I'm doing new features and the machine learning electric, uh, extracts the uh, emotions from uh, totally new uh, music and makes the uh, uh, machines can feel in like the humans about the uh, emotions like happy, angry or something like that. My research is in the area of vibration signals and machine condition monitoring. Basically, my research is related to the, to the study of compressive sensing and the study of machine learning. Uh, so far, an intelligent condition monitoring method for pairing faults is proposed. The proposed method is aimed to learn and overcomplete sparse features from highly compressed measurements using a sparse Putin coder. With these few measurements, uh, we have been able to achieve high classification accuracy of peering faults. The implication of this, the proposed method of compressive sampling uh, will require fewer measurements, so it will reduce the computational complexity, uh, storage requirements, and the bandwidth to transmit the data. 
I chose Pranil University because my supervisor is a leading expert in signal processing and machine learning. Uh, and it's a quite unique opportunity for me to have a good supervision and cooperation of such an expert professor. And my topic, research topic, is image analysis of complex data in NDT, non-destructive testing. So the main um, the background is regarding the structural integrity of structures. Uh, and uh, my topic of concern is to be able to detect surface structural integrity flaws like pits and cracks. And then use uh, image processing and machine learning techniques in order to detect them. So there is a requirement and a need for an automated system. And this is where I come in. The methodology which, is, which I've trained is uh, to get the images, apply some pre-processing on, on it like thresholding or segmentation, edge detection, filtering, and especially filtering in the sense of uh, uh, knowing the morphology of the flaws which I'm looking. So if like, it's a crack, then it's like thin vertical lines and if it's a pit it's more of an elliptical shape. So that's very important for my uh, research so I know the morphology and so I can mask them and extract them out. Now I'm doing a project called the Riot Project with our industry partner National Theatre Studio. We are making a new type of movie called an interactive movie. That is a movie uh, can, according to audience uh, uh, all, all of audience response to uh, have a different stories and uh, different endings. In our case, Riot Project, uh, we have three different uh, labels, different uh, facial expressions, like a calm, fear, and anger. And uh, my job is to do the facial expression recognition. Uh, that, that is to recognize what, what is the emotion on your face. Uh, we have to uh, 30 people's uh, data set to have a train set. The train set is our uh, rules. That, that, that is to teach a computer to know what is anger, what is fear, and uh, what, what is calm. My topic is low voltage excitation um, for incorrect safe environment. Uh, this project, the, the aim of the project is to create a low voltage ultrasonic testing device uh, by using cold excitation methods. Our department has the largest PhD com uh, students community at university, having more than 220 students. We have extensive experience in uh, cutting edge technologies in uh, wireless communications and energy analysis, physics, artificial intelligence, applied logistic analysis, and many more.